So um, I wanted to talk about the topic of suicide, um, and I, um, I, this topic came into my mind because um, it's a very sensitive topic. Um, a lady had posted in the Lions Main group about her husband committing suicide, um, and uh, yeah, I, I figured you know it's. Um, we, it's something to speak about considering um, you know if you've been suffering with a chronic if you've been suffering with chronic pain if you've been suffering with um, unusual circumstances you know I've, I've been suffering now for almost two years with with um, constant discomfort um, it started with sleep issues and, and now it's just it's like constant discomfort in my head and you know when you're in that situation your mind is your mind just naturally goes to, to thinking about suicide at every moment um, because you, you mind you're in pain you're in discomfort I mean it's I think it's natural um, you know uh, for anyone to ask you uh, whether you're thinking about suicide or not I mean if you're in a chronic pain chronic discomfort situation um, with no treatments or solutions I mean yes you are it's you know you're superhuman if uh, if you don't think about it, I, I'm assuming. Um, it's unfortunate that, I mean, I've had to think about suicide so often um, and not as, you know, and not as in a way that I wanna end my life um, because, you know, it, it, it's, it's because I wanna end the suffering and the discomfort. Um, I mean, yeah, it's, um, it's it's just a it's just a, it's an unbelievable situation um, having to be like even think remotely about suicide. Um, and I see that coming from someone who you know had a pretty good life before taking lion's mane mushroom and um, so yeah I mean okay I I just want to talk about suicide in the terms of how to handle it. Um, look. How I've made it through this is I've, I've, I mean, I didn't make it through it yet. I mean, <laughs> don't get me wrong. Um, but surround yourself with people who love you, who care about you. Um, there's a lot of people online, a lot of people out there who really want to help you and to be there for you, and you be you be can be there for them. Um, my head's killing me. I'm sorry. Oh my god, it's so bad. Uh, it's like this every day. I mean, every moment of the day. Um, but please surround yourself with people who love you. Um, no, how, no matter how much suffering you're going through, just keep keep finding things to try. Keep finding solutions. Keep doing tests. If you get a doctor who kind of pushes you to the side and says, "Oh, you're fine," and you feel you're not, uh, keep pushing. Get a second opinion. Get a third opinion. Get a fourth opinion. Um, you know, it's, uh, the one thing that doctors I've noticed don't really realize and don't want to admit is we don't know everything about the brain and the human body. Um, I'm not saying all doctors think that way, but you know, um, if you feel there's something wrong with you, just keep persisting, keep making plans to get help. Um, there's always, uh, suicide hotlines, but I know in, in, in the circumstances if you're dealing with chronic pain it's it's different because it's not really a mental health I mean it is an, an indirectly mental health issue but if, if um, but it's like a chronic pain chronic discomfort situation but there are like support groups out there um, with people going through similar things so connect with those people um, for me my jaw is completely tight I have unbelievably extreme discomfort at every moment of the day so therefore I think about suicide every moment of the day it's not and I'm not making plans and I'm not you know uh, I'm saying um, what I'm planning what I'm doing is I'm, I'm just you know I'm pushing I'm pushing forward suicide it's not an option it isn't um, it's something that would destroy your family it would destroy everyone um, so just keep fighting. If you're in the situation I'm in, keep fighting, keep pushing, keep trying things. 
um just never give up it's uh <laughs> i know how how original never give up right but really just don't give up um yeah i just um i'm sorry oh it's my it's so hard to think oh my gosh i don't know if it's getting worse or it's just stagnant it feels like it's getting worse I have this it's like my brain feels like it's burning like it's just oh my god it's so bad and I still haven't done a lumbar puncture I still there's still so many tests that I, I still need to do and I'm two years in um, I've been refused a lot I've been refused a lumbar puncture I don't I don't know why um, <laughs> I mean I haven't been able to work because I'm in constant discomfort um, with my head and I don't get to enjoy any moment of the day I don't have any quality of life yeah, I'm still here and, and tests haven't been completed. Um, more investigations need to be done. So my point is just look at me and and just keep moving forward. Um, really just keep fighting. Have a reason why you're doing this. What is your reason why? I mean, my, my reason why is I wanna get better. I wanna move on with my life eventually. I wanna get back to feeling normal. Um, want to get a job again I want to get married I'm 32 you know um and I want to you know another reason why is I mean make make my family happy be there for my my parents be there for my grandparents um oh, my, my head is so bad my head is so so bad sorry it's like this every moment um it's really surreal it is that I'm not an experiences I'm sorry to go off topic but um just just surround yourself with people you love people love you that people people who love you create awareness about your situation too if you're in like a chronic discomfort and you just like make videos like i'm doing um like if you have like pfs um you know things that are haven't been discovered yet you know um uh, just keep pushing forward um just just remember suicide is never an option you only get one life and you you want to go out fighting you know put one foot in front of the other each day and just keep fighting no matter how hard it is um just really keep fighting keep pushing um yeah and another reason why i want to figure out why i want to fit okay so in my in the lion's main recovery group i'm probably one of the worst cases right that's why i created this group now there's like thousands of people part of it so I want to find out a solution to this these devastating side effects I'm experiencing and and share that with the group and share that with people and and make sure nobody ever ends up in a situation um you know I've lost everything I mean I lost the the girl I've lost the love of my life um I've lost job I've lost money I lost hundreds and thousands of hours I've lost you know I mean my 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 family have have been devastated um i have no quality of life i've lost my any quality of life i used to have um but i get up every day and i say to myself i don't give a fuck i'm gonna just keep pushing forward no matter how much pain how much discomfort i'm in i'm gonna find a solution to this and i'm not gonna ever give up so it's so hard to think that way and i know and i, I understand but you have to you have to have to keep moving forward um despite what people say to you despite people putting you out, always fight back you know if someone says oh well if a doctor says you don't need that test well go and research and find out why you why you know the reasons you do need that test and i'm still i'm still battling with that you know i mean and i say that because i'm in constant discomfort so and i'm, I'm like i can't function because of this right so i think they're like am i crazy to think that there needs to be more investigation no and you got to think the same way it's like if it's totally control your it's totally control your life like that like that's not normal i mean like in my situation how many people do you know who have had who have a constant headache who have, who have constant dis head discomfort like i am constant like stiff muscles stiff jaws it's just torture right and i mean i know there's people in those situations where it's just their symptoms are torture um silent basically silent suffering um but yeah just there are people out there that are like you there are people there you can connect with um you're not alone in this situation um 
yeah, um, my, my, my thoughts are a little scrambled here. I didn't write anything down, but, and my, and like, I'm just, my symptoms are so bad. It's like, I don't get any waking moment of peace. So it's like, it's hard for me to actually like sit and focus and like, you know, when I have, oh my God, it's like so bad. It's like so bad. It's so just uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, um, reach out to me if, if you if you want to talk to someone I'm here to talk to you I'm very patient and understanding so you know if you're if you're thinking about suicide and you're going through chronic issues reach out to me or you know I'm here to talk be a friend reach out to your people in your life um, just never give up and just remember it's not an option you know despite no matter how much you're suffering it's never an option anyways I hope everybody everybody has a okay day a good day and uh, thank you for watching